factor of the quadratic expression 7x minus 5 squared minus 8 times 7x minus 5 plus 15. So the first thing that I would do is I would expand the 7x minus 5 squared. So I can get rid of the brackets. So 7x minus 5 squared is basically the same as 7x minus 5 times 7x minus 5. Then I would use FOIL method to expand this times 7x by 7x. 7x times minus 5, minus 5 times 7x, and minus 5 times minus 5. 7x times 7x is 49x squared. Minus 5 times 7x is 30 minus 35x. Minus 5 times 7x is minus 35x. and minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25 minus 35x and minus 35x they equal minus 70x And what I would do then is I would distribute the minus 8 to the 7x and the minus 5. So I can get rid of those brackets. So what I have is minus 8 times 7x minus 8 times minus 5 minus 8 times 7x is minus 56x and minus 5 times minus 8 is plus 40 Then, because 7x minus 5 squared is equal to 49x squared minus 70x plus 25, and minus 8 times 7x minus 5 is equal to minus 56x plus 40, I can just plug these back into the equation, uh, to the expression, in place of the 7x minus 5 squared, I'll write 49x squared minus 70x plus 25 minus 56x plus 40 and then there's still the plus 15 Now I can reorder this expression so I can identify the like terms easier. It's easier to over overview. So I'll write 49x squared minus 70x minus 56x. plus 40 plus 25 
plus 15. I can add all those up, plus 40, 40 plus 25 plus 15, 25 and 15 is 40, and 40 plus 40 is 80. Then I can add up minus 70x plus minus 56x, which is equal to minus 126x. And since that is no other x squared, 49x squared remains. So what I end up with is 49x squared minus 126x plus 80 and that is factorable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square 49x squared which is 7x and I know that it's going to be negative because the middle term is negative so what it so the factored form is going to be 7x minus something times 7x minus something so to find out what that something is, I look for the factors of 80 that will, when added up, will give me the middle term. So all the factors of 80 is 80 and 1. ten and 8. And I know it's going to be 10 and 8 because 10 times ten, 10 times 7 gives me 70 and 8 times 7 gives me 56 which brings me back to the form that it was before basically and 56 times times 70 is 126 so I'm just gonna put those in seven x minus eight times seven x minus ten. If I expand this to check if it's right, seven x times seven x is forty nine x squared. Seven x times minus ten is minus seventy x. Minus eight times seven x is fifty minus minus fifty six x and eight minus 8 times minus 10 is it plus 80 so 49x squared minus 70x minus 56x plus 80 these two are indeed the same so that's it